So let's see today's lovely masala bhindi fry recipe. So here I've taken about 100 grams of bhindi or okra, washed it really well and patted it dry. It has to be completely dry. Then I cut off both ends and I've just slit it in the middle like this. Now always check for, you know, worms or dirt inside the bendy. And if it is, then just discard that. Only use fresh bendy. Now we're going to make the stuffing or the filling. For that, I've taken one and a half teaspoon of sambar powder. Next, I'm going to be adding one teaspoon of red chili powder and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi powder. Next, I'm going to be adding about three-fourth of a teaspoon of amchur powder or dry mango powder. This is one tablespoon of roasted peanut powder and salt to taste. Now do taste the filling and you can adjust all the uh, ingredients according to your liking. If you want to add more spice or more sourness, then adjust it that way. Now I'm just going to put the filling into the bendy like this and then just press it down and set it aside. Now you can always make this filling and keep it aside or you can even double the quantity and make a larger quantity. So whenever you want to make this recipe, you know, you already have the filling at hand. So in this way, uh, just stuff all of them. And now I've heated about one tablespoon of oil on my pan and I'm just going to fry this really well till the bindi is really, really fried where well, the okra is really nicely fried. So it should turn to a darker green color like this. Now I'm going to set that aside and I've heated about one teaspoon of oil in my kadai or pan. Then I'm going to add just half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. Once the mustard seeds begin to splutter, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds or jeera and half a teaspoon of asafoetida or hingo. Now I'm going to add all of the fried and stuffed bindi or okra into this fodni or bagar. And then just mix everything well and cook it for just one minute or half a minute. We don't want the bindi to turn soft. We want it to still be nice and crispy. So just for about half a minute, just toss it into the bagar. And that's it, guys. Turn off the heat. And this lovely masala bindi fry is all ready. And I love to have this with some lovely dal, uh, dal fry and rice. So do try out this recipe. And I'll catch you in my next video. This is Akshita signing off. Bye. Friends, I hope you like today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same so on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.